So if you get this warning symbol when you come to start your car, it's the yellow add blue bottle. It may well be red. If you get the yellow bottle, then you need to top up your add blue straight away. If your bottle's gone red, your vehicle will not start. Okay, so uh, let's show you how to top up the AdBlue. We've got to go around to the boot on this one. So we'll pop the boot up at the back of the car and tucked away down here is the AdBlue tank. I've took the panel off, there we go, look. So we just pull the panel away, unscrew the cap and it reveals the AdBlue tank. So with these we've found, you've got to put a decent amount of AdBlue in there, at least 10 litres. They're very, very slow to register on the gauge. So you've got to put a decent amount in. I found with this that the funnel is quite a fiddler, especially when it's on the big bottle and it's hard to put it in. So it, it was easier to put the funnel in and then tip the ad blue into a smaller jug and pour it in until it got to a point where I could actually get the big canister in there and finish it off which we have done here so okay all finished off there we remove the tube and then we'll put the cap back on Just screw that back on there and then refit the cover click it back into place fantastic so if you've been the unfortunate one and you've been ignoring your AdBlue messages saying you know fill fill the countdown's gone down the bottle's gone red the car won't start now the emergency start procedure which will only give you an extra 35 miles you put the ignition on you leave it for 30 seconds and then you will get an extra 35 miles popping up on the screen so you must at that point go and get some ad blue and put it in because you can only do that once once you've filled it up like I say it's quite slow to register it can take sometimes 10 minutes for it to realize that you've filled it but it will register eventually and start